Ghost getters, guaranteed to get them ghosts or half your money back. Paranormal prostitutes, voluptuous vampires, wacky werebears, unwanted mother-in-laws. You got spooks, spirits, or specters, we'll get rid of them or half your money back. You'll probably be satisfied, like on your wedding night. Speaking of weddings, check out Johnny's drive through Chapel. He'll hit you with a wedding license before they can say I don't. Hey, hello. Hey, Jimmy, return the mystery machine, by the way. He goes, my name's Eddie. Uh, okay. Yeah, Ernie, great job. You're doing awesome. <laughs> Get a return, please. <laughs> he gets in the mystery machine and leaves, but it's puffing up a lot of, you know, gas and smoke because it couldn't, it had a hard time pulling that big trailer up these hills. It's fine. It's a good car. I know the stats. Yeah, you know the stats. Well, I think we should bring, um... These little proton packs that they gave us. Little vacuum cleaner backpacks. You know, because if we do find any ghosts, we should put them up. You know, mm-hmm. suck them up into the little backpacks. And then we'll bring them over to Mr. Austin. He'll be happy. That's just a Hoover. Steve. Are you guys basing Steve, this you're whole than a kite. technology based off Luigi's Mansion? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You guys walk up to Gary Busey's house. Um, they put a couple camera crews. They put a camera on the inside to get the reaction of you guys coming in. They put a guy on the other side looking towards Gary Busey and one wide shot. Gary Busey opens the door and goes, Welcome, guys. You guys finally arrived. Don't look him in the eye, Moonshine. <laughs> he looks at both of you guys, except you guys are on different sides. He splits his eyes so he oh, can look at no. both of you with his <laughs> eyes. We don't even got the hillbilly power to do that. <laughs> <laughs> you just gotta be from Alabama, not Georgia, or wherever you're from. Where are you guys from, by the way? <laughs> just the deep south. We don't want to Okay, fair enough. He goes, so are you guys finally here to catch the ghost? The last crew didn't do so well. Yeah, we're gonna get them. We're the ghost getters. Yeah, there were some real Z-list celebrities that showed up. I hope you guys are stronger than they are. Oh, I'm sure we are. You see, Steve. I'm Gary Busey. You guys might have seen me in Beer Logan, Las Vegas. And is he in a Mission Impossible movie? I don't remember. He was in Point Break, I think. Yeah, he was in Point Break. Yeah, I was in Point Break. You guys remember me, right? Yeah, pred- uh, the second Predator movie. I was in Predator 2, the one where he goes to Los Angeles. You guys have seen that movie, right? Yeah. Everyone's seen that, I'm sure. <laughs> he goes, all right, come in, come in. And then they follow you guys. Uh, you guys go in with him. The camera crew follows behind. And just, he shows you his just house. hang out outside here? No, Fred, you're coming with us. But Fred! <laughs> they pull you guys inside, and he starts showing you guys around. But yeah, it's basically an old brick mansion. Uh, very old school. It's like a, it's like a southern ranch house, kind of. Oh, I like this. This is nice. Mm, I feel we're at home. And he goes, make yourself at home. Walk around. Get what you want to eat. Just don't go every single place. Some places are just for old Busey. <laughs> <laughs> so creepy. <laughs> oh. And uh, he goes off to go make himself a drink. What do you guys want to do next? Well, maybe we should try to find uh, what where the the other team went missing. Do we have any footage? Do you know anything about it? Uh, no, the camera crews just completely disappeared, so we have no footage at all. I yell, "Hey, Busey, where'd they disappear?" The other the other guys. He goes, "I don't know. I wasn't here. I let, gave him a whole reign of the house, and that's what happens when you don't listen to my rules." People go missing. Not because I didn't even do with it. I was gone. I let them have full reign in the house. They ran around and had fun. Right, did they now this time, you? I'm staying here with you guys to make sure you're safe. Bad sketch. Anyway, was there an area they were going to explore that they said anything about? Uh, I believe the basement? Okay. Yeah. We're not going there. <laughs> <laughs> well, that don't make a lick of sense, Fred. If the other team went missing in the basement... We're probably going to find the other team in the basement. 
We're going to find their bodies in the basement. We're well, not finding that. Nobody's saying anybody died. Yes. Yet. <laughs> the camera crew pull you uh, moonshine and sandwiches aside. They go, all right. So we need to start building drama, guys. There's not enough drama here. So we want you guys to talk about the rest of the party, your friends. Uh, Fred and Steve, talk about them, how they relate to you guys. But don't be 100% positive. You know, we're trying to make uh, unlikable, likable characters, you know? Right, right. All right, three, two, one, action. Uh, well, okay, my only thing is, so Steve, it seems like he might have an addiction. I stopped crack when I was down in the, the deep south. I did that all by myself, but it seems like he's still having problems, and I don't know if that's going to help us with our investigation. What do you think, Sandwiches? Yeah, I think Steve is a great guy, and Steve's always been taking care of us. Let me tell you, he's he's always been by us. He's helped us sisters, but I do think that the crack rock might have a strong hold on him, and he might be seeing ghosts where there ain't no ghosts to be seen. And from now on? In Inspectors, there is a system that if you talk about another party member, you can give them a trait. And kind of the funny aspect to this is that they are forced to be with this trait. You can only have one trait given to you or receive one trait per game. But Brad is now given the addict trait. So Brad, you were already starting to do it. But now throughout the rest of the game, you're forced to deal with this label that you have to roleplay of being an addict. All right? Sure. <laughs> Perfect. All right, they're getting interviewed. What does Steve and Fred do while these two are getting pulled aside and they're being put on camera? I'm gonna I'm gonna follow Gary Busey and ask if he could make me a drink too. Okay. He goes, of course. I make all the ladies I invite over a special drink. Can and I have a different drink? Than that one? <laughs> <laughs> Look, you're an addict. You take what you can get. Steve's so- not a lady. Yeah. He goes, uh, I guess whiskey on the rocks is what I like. Yeah, I'll take I'll take three. <laughs> Red. Whatever direction Gary Busey's going, I go the opposite direction. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you go into his garage. In his garage, it's like a ten car garage, and it's just filled with a variety of different nice cars, ranging from new, like, Lamborghinis to ones that are, like, really old school, like James Bond-type cars. I look for keys. Uh, there is a, like, a rack that has them labeled 1 through 10, and, yeah, there's all the keys. Alright, I start unlocking all of his vehicles. Okay, sounds good. They're all unlocked. I go to the trunks. Okay. Starting with whatever the one's closest is. Okay, sure. I start... Uh, you open the closest one, and you pop it open, and you find Dennis Rodman's body. At this point, we'll be rolling stress. Stress is when anything stressful happens. I probably should have gave you guys some, like, when you're driving down the highway, and one of you was on top of the trailer. I didn't roll. Have you guys he was high that? as balls. There's no stress in that situation. There was no stress. And these... I mean, Timmy roll- probably got some stress. Eddie. Whatever his name is. Eddie. He definitely has a lot of stress. And how stress rolls work is I give you a number from 1 to 5, and you roll that many dice, but you take the lowest result. If your best result, though, is a 6, you gain a cool die, which you can cash in at any point. So for this, I'm going to say, because the first time you've seen a dead body, you have to roll 3 die. And then, like I said before, you take the lowest result, and you go from there based off Inspector's um, stress chart. 2. Two, you become frazzled. You lose two dice from an appropriate skill, or one die from two skills. So kind of, you would pick what would make the most sense in this situation, and you would lose two die from one thing, or two from one. And uh, I guess you can kind of just give a quick description about what happens. So it doesn't always necessarily mean you're stressed, but like if you do it for like athletics, maybe you banged your head on the car uh, trunk, lid and you hurt yourself a little bit so that's why you lost one point wound up uh collapsing on the floor and cracked my head off the concrete so that didn't help with my frazzling also didn't help with my smarts either so 
You know, yeah, you banged up your head a little bit, maybe a minor little bit concussion. More physically disabled than I was beforehand, and now I'm a little bit dumber. And yeah, so at this point, there's no camera crews around you, but you found Dennis Rodman's body. Right. Um, a ghost comes out. The ghost of Dennis Rodman rises himself out. I say, no, 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 bud. You can go right back in. I start pushing. <laughs> back in the car. You gonna start pushing it back in? Yes. Okay. Um, Actually, so, no. This is a ghost, not a zombie. Never mind. That didn't work. Sorry. Yeah. You just start putting your hand through him, and he goes, <laughs> and then he gets like really big. He's six foot eight, and he goes. <laughs> I say raw to you too, man. What the hell? <laughs> Do you notice how many ghosts I've had to deal with in my life? Dead bodies is one thing. We haven't found one of those yet, but we've found plenty of ghosts. Air quotes. He goes, You're inside a car. The trunk of a car. That's, That's a terrible That's how story. Dennis Robin always intended to go out. I mean, it is a nice car. I'll give you that one. But I gotta remove your body. Do you realize how much this car costs? Man, this would be great on the used market without your body in it. Without your body. Actually, it would go up more if his body was in it. Uh, to certain markets, yes. Most markets don't want dead bodies in their car. So he does attack you, so at this point, what would you like to roll to get out of the situation of Dennis Rodman's ghost? I have that stupid ghost sapping gun that I requested earlier, right? Yes. I use that in the hope that it somehow works. Okay. Roll a technology roll. I got a six. A six? Okay. Amazing. Describe the result, and you guys gain two franchise die. At this point, because Akrina is good rolling, you guys have now accumulated, at this point, this would be the six one. Yeah, so this isn't actually a ghost hunting gun. This is just your average little toy, like, zappy gun that you'd buy for a child. Mm-hmm. It's not actually supposed to do anything, but somehow the electrical charge that it gives off when I pull the trigger explodes the gun and destroys it, but at the same time somehow manipulates the ghost like system or whatever. Sure, his electric like, and, like, field. And basically tases him. Okay. Sounds good. Alright, the ghost screams and he shrinks back into the body of Dennis Rodman. And he's stunned for the moment. Perfect. If at this point I assume you want to dart out of here? No, I want to pull his body out of the car. Okay. You pull it out and what do you want to do with it? I look around for the least expensive car in the in the garage. Okay. Um. Yeah. There is one. That's okay. I go to that car rivers. and I stuff him inside that one. Okay. Sounds good. You so we got to turn a profit. Ah, uh, makes sense. I see. Steve, what are you up to? Um, I'm just standing there drinking the whiskey, talking to uh, Gary Busey. Gary Busey, and while he's talking, I'm just kind of zoning out, looking around the room. Do I see anything suspicious? What room is the bar in? Is it in, like, the kitchen, the dining room, a study? Lounge. It's a study, yeah. Study. Yeah, so around in this area, it's just a bunch of pictures of Gary Busey in different movies. Is there, like, a nice fireplace? There's a nice fireplace, okay, So yeah. we're standing by the fireplace. Yeah. Uh, under a giant portrait of Gary Busey. Yep. Um, and I'm just looking around for anything suspicious while he's talking about himself. Sure. So, looking around... Anything of suspicion is that you f- see a a bust of him, a stone bust of him on a pedestal, except it's turned sideways. Mm. And it looks like it's on like some kind of mechanical mechanism that he forgot to just rotate back. Some like Indian Jones trap shit. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to make a mental note of that. Um, and... Is there, like, a little sofa here in the study or anything? Yeah, there's a fine sofa. I'm gonna say, you know what, Gary? May I call you Gary, Mr. Busey? He goes, Mr. Busey was my mother. <laughs> okay, Gary. I'm feeling a little tired. I uh, had a rough day. He goes, you can share my room. Do you mind? Uh, if- I won't be there, don't worry. I'll Do- be somewhere else. I'll be in the dungeon. Do you mind if I... <laughs> Just take a nap on the sofa here. He goes, no, 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 no. I'll let you sleep. I'll let you sleep. I'll wake you up later. And he leaves. Okay. Um, I'm going to make sure that he's left, and then I'm going to rotate the bust and see what happens. Sounds good. 
a uh, bookshelf slides open and revealed is a secret door. I'm going to try to open it. It's already opened. It goes into a dark hallway. Okay, I'm going to pull out my cell phone for a flashlight. I'm going to sneak into the hallway. All right, you go down in there, and then it shuts behind you. Okay. You're locked in there. Back to Sandwich and Moonshine. You see Austin pace around, fingers in his hair, looking stressed out. You guys are getting snacks or finishing off your sandwich or something. Mr. Austin, you look like you could use a sandwich. He goes, what I need is my crew. I've been looking for them, but I already lost two of them. I don't know where Fred is. I don't know where Steve is. They both disappeared. All right. Are you guys ready to become the new stars of the show? I thought we were. Are you ready to turn the others into just mere supporting cast members? Moonshine has always been the star. Oh, sandwiches, you didn't have to say that, you sweetheart. (laughs) Alright, guys, I already lost half the team already. Uh, I I don't know where they are. I would send Eddie to go find them, but he's gone. Uh, You know, that boy, he he works real hard, Mr. Austin. I I don't know, I think he's going to get fired soon. No, I don't think you should fire Eddie. It's not his fault. Fred was hard on him. Me and Fred are going to have a chat later. All right, you guys need to go get them ghosts. Or you need to go get something. You need to get that drama. You need to get our ratings up. We need viewership. And then he storms off. And then the camera crews start following you guys around um, with steady cams. All right. Well, I think maybe we should try to get some of them uh, EVP. I think that's what they call it. (laughs) Hey, ghost! Nothing responds. Ghost. It seems to be a little more difficult than I imagined. Austin's in the background going, Do something! Go get them ghosts! Alright, well, um, I got my little pack, my little Luigi Mansion pack, and I'll just turn it off. <laughs> just like a couple in- trophies, Golden Globe trophies, the only ones Gary UC one. The second I'm going to look up to see if he actually won any Golden Globes. They get sucked into the vacuum cleaner and are instantly vaporized. Well, uh, that, oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there were ghosts there. There were ghosts there, Mr. Breezy. Oh, um, we just had to do that. We had to do that. We could catch the ghosts out of them. Them there. Statues. <laughs> He's not in here. He's at the moment um, hanging out with Brad. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, you fucking don't tell him. <laughs> I said that to all the camera people. Gary Busey has been nominated for one Golden Globe, but did not win. In 1978. Oh, oh, oh. So he had one kind of imaginary Golden Globe hanging up on his mantle that was made out of paper. And then they sucked that up. They took his own. That's why I vaporized. It wasn't real. He's nominated for an Oscar once. The same year he got nominated for a Golden Globe. What movie was it for? The Buddy Holly story. Our insurance doesn't pay for this. For destroying Gary Busey's stuff. We need to keep this on down low. No one, I repeat this, nobody mentioned this to him. We're going to scratch this off camera. At this point, because you guys sucked up his trophies and I was not the intended goal, I'm going to have you guys roll a one dice stress roll. You guys both got ones? Alright, you guys both got complete and total nuclear meltdown. Lose your cool (laughs) dice if you have any, and lose the number of skill dice equal to the number of stress dice rolled. Okay, so you guys just rolled one. So you guys lose one dice from something. From one of your, uh, your main skills, and you can argue what it would be and how you lost it. I lost one from academics because I just, I didn't realize how important the Golden Globe was. (laughs) <laughs> I didn't know what that was. Fair enough. I lost one from my athletics because I got real shooken up by that whole situation. I didn't mean to do wrong, and I'm just feeling real, real queasy in the muscles. Aww. At this point, Travis busts in. Uh, Fred. Coming in from the garage. When did I ever say I was leaving the garage? Oh, you still there? Yes. All right. Okay. What are you doing at the garage? Looking for weapons or weapons? tools. Um, there's like you know car tools. Yeah. So there's like whatever a wrench. I can grab. Wrench, sure. big wrench, screwdriver, anything I can use to stab or hit something. Okay, just wrench. All right. I grab that. Tuck it in my 
my my suit. You know, yeah. Took it up real nice. And then I leave. Okay. Um, very suspicious looking like. Fred walks into the main living dining room and meets up with sandwiches and moonshine. Oh, hey, Fred. Oh, hey, Coasters. How's it going? Oh, it's fine. Everything's fine. Nothing bad happened. Why is she on the floor quivering? She's fine. Okay. I will not ask questions. You know us southern girls, we sometimes get the vapors. Oh, yeah. I've heard of that. <laughs> I did wrong. Not I feel did, bad. I did wrong. I don't know what to do. Say it. Moonshot, it's fine. Oh. <laughs> Eddie, Eddie, get her something. Get her a fan. Eddie comes over looking like Two Faced from the Batman movies. The oh, bird. Eddie, you're back. Good to see you, bud. He looks at you with half an eye open. The other eye is just like burnt down and he's gonna need surgery to get it back open again because <laughs> i'm back freddy uh, uh sir fred sir sir fred no you can call me freddy that's that's perfectly fine i'm back by the way i'm sorry about that whole coffee deal what happened with uh steve or rod what's his name steve, steve. yeah sir steve yeah sir steve what happened with him that's that's between you two i'm, I'm really sorry about that it's, it's okay I, I'll do what I have to to complete this internship. It's going to put me in a good place to get a job in Hollywood. Not um, with that face. <laughs> oh, darling. Now you want to be able to get the job at Starbucks. Oh. So, someone get this poor darling some face cream. <laughs> or a new face. I don't know. Well, we're at Gary's Beast sales. We could probably get him somebody's new face. Oh. <laughs> and uh, the makeup girl goes... I don't think we have it in our budget to cover this. No, no, we'll, we'll sew a new face on. It'll be fine. <laughs> so, Fred, what have you been doing? I was, I was checking out his car collection. He's got very, some very nice, uh, good used cars in there. I didn't get any EV. Gary Boozy walks into him with, I don't got no used cars. They're all brand new at the time I took them. Bought them. Yeah, yeah, no, they were good then, but now they're a bit used. I mean, you've driven them a couple times. Make some used car. Some of them I've never drove. Oh, okay, so then some of them are still kind of newish. But Fred, don't push him. Austin <laughs> comes into the room and goes, All right, guys, guys, the sun is down, the moon's up. I'm going to send one cameraman out there to get a nice shot of the moon. If it's not a full moon, we'll edit and post later to get a full moon. Would you kindly go out with the cameraman and just watch his back? Eddie leaves. With the cameraman, please. Yeah, they leave. Good. Together. Austin goes, all right, guys. Nighttime. Let's get some good footage. Go out there and let's make something out of it. How let's be honest. You guys really might not find any <clears throat> ghosts. You'll probably won't find any ghosts, but just pretend like you're about to find a ghost. Make some noise or something. Just get some good scares in. All right, guys. Let's pay up the drama. All right. Good. 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 Guys, roll. Go. So do we want, just before we start rolling, sir, do you want us to go upstairs to the attic area where that's kind of spooky or downstairs to like the basement area that's probably also spooky? Uh, we'll do two scenes. We'll do both. Let's, if no, we're not some... splitting up. That's a terrible idea. No, no, that will enhance the tension. I say split up. All right, but you're coming with me. No, I say up here. Well, I coordinate everything. No. Yes. We got to find Steve because otherwise we can't split up. We can't send Fred by himself. Obviously not. I so... can go with Fred. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine, but that would leave sandwiches by yourself. We can't have that either. <laughs> <laughs> they can both go with Fred. That's us split it up. <laughs> Guys, we're wasting nighttime. Go find Steve, <laughs> Sir Austin. Eddie. Oh, God damn it, Eddie's not here. Uh, go. God. Yeah. And Austin storms off to go find Steve. Bye, Austin. And I don't even look back. Or he doesn't look back. He's a I don't funny. know if I'm talking first person or not. He's a funny man. <laughs> With his little nose rings. <laughs> what you guys, you guys are going to give him a hernia. <laughs> Steve, you go down the hallway. That's what my mama said happened to my daddy. <laughs> you go down the hallway and it leads to some stairs Was going up Papa and down. Papa. Papa. I'll take the stairs up. You go to stairs like, up. What's that called? And it goes up into what is like a tower. 
And in the tower, there are some windows that look out. People can't look in. And it kind of oh, overlooks yeah. Yeah. the entire UC that. property. Do I see uh, our cameraman outside? You do, yes. You see uh, Eddie and the cameraman. Do I have any of my equipment on me? Or is there anything in the tower? Uh, there's nothing in the tower, but you probably have equipment on you. Alright, I'm going to take um, something and try and throw it through the window or break the window with it. Uh, you smash the glass and it is bulletproof. Not breaking anytime soon. Okay. I'm just going to pound on it and yell for the cameraman. Alright, you start pounding on it. And then you hear from down below... Evan, coming up the stairs, you see the ghost of MC Hammer. Roll three dice, as this is the first time you've seen an actual ghost before. Got a four. Uh, in stress, you roll, and you got to roll uh, the lowest result. Oh, yep, that's right. Two. So two. Frazzled, you lose two dice from the appropriate skill, or one dice from two skills. Um, I will lose... Two academics. Or wait, can I go down to zero or no? You can go down to zero, but you automatically feel any academics check. Okay, I'll do one athletics and one academics. Okay, one sounds one good. MC, the ghost of MC Hammer floats up. And he goes up and he just looks at you. How do you react? Um, I'm going to start singing Can't Touch This. You can't touch this? Okay. You start singing Can't Touch This, and he just looks upon you, disappointed. His hands turn into giant sledgehammers. He raises them up, and he goes, Stop! Hammer time! <laughs> and he brings him down upon you. You have to dive out of the way to avoid getting hit. Okay. Roll an athletics roll. I rolled a five. Five. All right, we add one to the franchise dice pool, which should be like a seven or an eight at this point. We're at seven. And, uh... Describe the good outcome. So he slams the hammer down, and I run out behind him, and I run down the tower, and I get away from him, and I'm just continuing to explore. I'm going to go downstairs now. All right. Sandwiches, Fred, and Moonshine. Where do you guys go off to together? Well, perhaps we should try the basement, because that's where Mr. Busey said that the other crew was looking. We might find something suspicious down there. You're so smart, sandwiches. I look oh. up to you. Well, thank you, Moonshine. We're close to the camera, people. Just out of curiosity. They're like within six feet. All right. I grab sandwiches real close, tuck in, and I'm just like, I found one of the old crew. Oh, well, where are they? They were in the trunk of one of Mr. Busey's cars. Well, he must have been hot in the trunk. He was very dead, so he was actually very cold. Dead? Very dead. D-E-D? Yes. <laughs> From the startling revelation that one of them died, roll one stress dice, Becky. Six. A six? Okay. Uh, you gain good. a cool die. <laughs> as well as being fine, you gain a cool die that you can cash in at any point to get an additional dice roll. Well, well, what do you mean, dead, Fred? Like they're no longer breathing, sandwiches. <laughs> Fred. Well, how how did he have... Which one? Uh, one of the stars. One of the, the B-list, C-list celebrities that I can't remember the name of. Was it Dennis Rodman? I don't know. You tell me. I don't know. Sure. <laughs> let's go with that. <laughs> have that ESP or something. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, Miss, well, how did Mr. Rodman die? Do you I know? didn't look. Well, why didn't you look? Because it's not my business how he died. It's well, my business to say he's dead. Yeah, it is our business. Well, anything else you want to tell us, Fred? The camera crew go, okay. guys, we can't get the mic close enough to hear what you guys are saying. Yeah, uh, yeah, well, let, let's start filming. Action. Sandwiches just gave him a very incredulous look. <laughs> it's like not much I can do. Sorry. All right, where do you want to go exploring? It's preferably not the basement. Well, Fred, 
Where do you think we should go exploring? As I said, anywhere besides the basement. Why not the basement? Because that's, I'm assuming, where they all disappeared. But that's our job, right? Yeah, but we could, like, put it off at least a little while. <laughs> Fred, I fancied you before, but now oh. I don't know about it anymore. You creep me out, not gonna lie. <laughs> but... <laughs> Don't you talk to my sister like that. She's beautiful. Yeah, her mustache is amazing. I'll give you that. She'll pop your head off like a dandelion, boy. That she would. They pull Travis aside and they go, All right, quick bit. Talk to the camera about how you feel truly. Don't worry, she can't hear. We're not really going to put this online on the show. They actually are. Give us your opinion about Moonshine. Go. Um... A bit dim-witted. Uh, we worked together almost two months. Uh, nice girl. Very nice girl. Uh, very great character, um, personality, all that, but uh, I just I can't stand her or her sister. And, Karina, you gained the new trait, dim-witted. <laughs> oh, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Fellas, I'm worried about how stupid we are. <laughs> Dead. D E D dead. <laughs> Priceless. <laughs> okay. Where do you guys go then, if not the basement? I mean, the only really way to go is up. All at this right. point. I guess we're going to the attic. You guys go up into the attic. Uh, the door is latched, though. You guys cannot open it without a key. <laughs> you wanted to force it open. Can but... we open it with Moonshine's arms? You wanted to break Gary Busey's attic door? Yes. We we want to <laughs> gently persuade it to open. So is this uh, like a off camera check? Off camera. We no, want to gently I'm persuade gonna it. I'm going to use my sheer strength yeah. and power of my biceps, <laughs> and I'm going to just crank that 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 bastard open. All right, now turn, athletics. turn the cameras just down the hallway. Give us a good shot of the hallway. It's kind of creepy. Kriya, do you want to wait for them to turn the cameras or no? I don't wait. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a three. Oh, oh, that's a six. That's a, six? That's a pumpkin. Pumpkin is six. All right, you guys gained two more points. So Kriya only rolled sixes, apparently. Uh, two more points to the franchise dice. And Kriya, you get to describe what happens. With my sheer power and voluptuous strength... I just cranked that bastard open, like I said. Simple as that. Wood splinters everywhere as <laughs> the attic door, she just one pinch me and just smashes it open. There's more, no more door or hinges left. There's just a big hole where the door used to be. Now you guys gonna go, you guys can go into the attic though. So I turn to the camera and be like, this all gets edited out, right? They all look at you with their thumbs up and you're like, yes. <laughs> That's all I need to know. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Fred. Them big Hollywood boys will pay for it. They can't even pay for whatever you guys sucked up earlier. Whoa, what did they suck up earlier? Nothing. <laughs> you guys go into the attic. Or, I should say broke, because I don't know you sucked it up with the vacuum cleaner. But whatever you guys destroyed earlier, they're not paying for that. You go into the attic, you guys get chills. Even though heat should rise into the attic... It feels like it's getting colder as you guys are going upstairs. This chill runs down the back of your neck. You guys always hear words in your head saying, Don't disturb my slumber. What do you guys do? So I say, you guys are more experienced at ghost hunting than I am. You should go first. And also the camera crew should go with you. You see this yellow belly son of a bitch? Fred. I, I can't believe I have feelings for that man. I can't believe you did. I mean, first of all, his hair. <laughs> Second of all, his hair. <laughs> <laughs> Thirdly, his hair. <laughs> the camera crew go, go upstairs, go upstairs. Oh, all right. Sorry. Yeah, I point for all the camera crew and them. First go upstairs. Sandwiches. If something bad happens, I'll have you back. All right, I'm going to go upstairs. You guys go up the stairs, crew behind. The crew look at you, trust, and they're like, are you going to go in front of us? No, 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 no. Behind all of you. I'll be your rear guard. 
They look at each other and then they go, well, Austin's not here to say anything. We have no power here. We don't make a lot of money, so let's just do it. We're not going to argue with him. You guys go up into the attic. This attic is full of life-size dolls. Most of which are the, uh, the porcelain white dolls. Porcelain white skin, really thin eyes. All life size, five feet to six feet tall. And it's just, they're in boxes or they're out of their boxes and they're just all standing upright, filling this entire attic. I wonder if Mr. Busey has this collection because perhaps he makes doll clothes or wigs. I'm that's sure a that's good a idea. Reason. That makes me feel a little better. I think that's what he's doing. He might just be a hobby. I think so too. You guys keep walking around, and every time you put your foot down, you feel like you're putting it down into snow. Looking down at the ground, there's actual thin ice over the old boards of this attic. The attic door slams shut, and the camera crew are sucked away downstairs. Like almost like a small tornado just pulled them away. And they go, ah! And one camera does fall on its side, looking in your guys' direction. But they're just pulled away, almost like someone grabbed them by the feet and pulled them downstairs, and the attic door shuts. Which is weird enough, considering that Karina already busted open that attic door. Now it's just the three of you guys up here. Well, huh? I know climate type person that knows nothing about the environment, but I don't think this is right. You guys you hear... definitely right about that. I okay. grabbed the camera. You grabbed the camera. Where are you pointing at? Any direction at all. I don't care. You start turning around in circles. You guys hear the faint sounds that get louder and louder, and eventually you hear the words, Ice, ice, baby. <laughs> Ice, ice, baby. And walking into the room, levitating, is the ghost of Vanilla Ice. So I pointed at that. Not that it'll pick him up or anything, but I point the camera at him. Okay, fair enough. And I yell over to the sisters, Moonshine, new boyfriend material. He even has, what is that called, ice tips? Mm. Oh, frosted tips. Frosted tips. tips. Oh, that's Moonshine's weakness. <laughs> <laughs> I might just have to switch my romantic interests. <laughs> Mr. Ice. It's vanilla. Oh, Mr. Vanilla. <laughs> I'd like to uh, introduce you to my lovely sister, Moonshine. He go, look, goes over to you and goes, This is my domain now. You pretty things, tell me why it shouldn't freeze you and keep you here for all eternity for me to look at as I levitate through my new realm. Oh, well, well, this is a very nice realm you have here, uh, Vanilla. But, uh. Dolls oh. are a creepy touch. The dolls are <laughs> lovely. Fred, the dolls are lovely. He goes, no, I hate the dolls. No, those are oh. Buseys. Oh, well, you know, if you want to open up that door, I'll get rid of them for you. I know somebody will buy them for a very good price. Yeah, we can get rid of the dolls, and that's uh, why you shouldn't freeze us to death. And, and, if you don't freeze me, I can make you breakfast in the morning. I can no longer eat. <laughs> well, it's the thought that counts, right? Well, sh sh we can send in pictures. Yeah. Uh, on cell phone. If you keep us alive, Mr. Vanilla. Mr. Vanilla. At this point, you guys should roll a... Was it contest? Ooh, what is it? I'm good at that. You're good at that. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently not. I rolled a two. Oof. Three dice, that's rough. Is the only one person can try or anyone in the room? Uh, she rolled first. In so the it's future, one person? I gotta get this jar of ranch out of my mouth. In the future, you guys can assist. Say, I would like to help Travis do his next roll. Everyone rolls, and the people that want to assist Travis can give any of their dice to him. So most likely, you would keep your best result and then give your second best result to Travis to have. Okay. 
would be too bad. The GM decides your fate, or you may suggest something suitably negative. You are frozen. He goes, no, I want to keep you here with me. And he freezes you. He's ice, baby. And he freezes you into an ice block. Can I crush my way out of the ice with my sheer athletics? No. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Is she still alive? Yeah, she's still alive. Now, Vanilla. Let me, let me try to convince you that my sister does not deserve to be frozen into a block of ice. Perhaps if you tell me who killed you, I can extract revenge. He goes, at this point, it doesn't matter. The only thing I want is those to join me in this hell. This frozen hell I am now going to create. But it doesn't have to be that way, Mr. Vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> Roll contest. Oh, I want to help her out. Yeah, help me out, man. <laughs> okay. So, Travis, you say what you're going to roll, and you got to roll first, because then you give one of your dice to her. Well, I mean, this is contest, so we're just going to roll. Contact. You, contact, yeah. Oh, contact, yeah. Uh, for this, you don't have to do that. If you, like, want to go up and punch him with your athletics, for example, you can My do athletics that. is a zero, motherfucker. I'm not punching <laughs> a ghost with zero athletics. Well, no, so whatever you want to do, you can roll it, if you can give one of those dice to her. Yes, I'm rolling con contest. Contact, yeah. Whatever it the fuck it's called. Is it contest? I don't know what it's called. Contact. Oh, it's contact. That would make way more sense. Is it two or three? Two. It's Remember, not. you guys can take cards from uh, your franchise's uh, credit cards, your library cards, your gym card. Oh, yeah. What's our... What's so, basically, oh, okay. this organization has a credit card. You guys can use at any point to increase your technology by just taking from it. You also have the bank and the gym card. There you go. You rolled a five. Okay, five was the highest. Add one to your franchise. Oh, okay, so, so five is yours. No, so it's you roll, you choose one for yourself, and then one for her. And then she gets whatever you want to give her. Okay, but th what does it matter if I take my own dice? Because if you want to give her the good one and you get the bad one, you're going to feel the effects of rolling bad. So if you roll But I'm one not talking to him. I don't understand how this extra helping thing works. If you do something and you're assisting her, you are rolling, but you give one of your dice to her. All right, well, I got a four. So either way, it's not bad. So yeah. I give her the five, I keep the four. Okay, sounds good. And uh, but you, no matter what, you're at least going to get a five. Okay. No. But you can still roll anyway. I roll anyway. Thanks for the five, man. Okay. So add one to the franchise dice total. And what happens? I convince Mr. Vanilla that even though my beautiful sister Moonshine would make a lovely ornament to stay in his frozen hail, that he doesn't necessarily need to live in a frozen hail, because if he tells us about how he died, we can extract revenge, and then he can go on to the next plane of existence. So he unfreezes Moonshine for me, and then tells me what happened to him. He goes, I will keep her here, but I will tell you so you can get revenge. If you get revenge, maybe I'll unthaw her, but she is mine. But you guys can still try to break her out, but his I mean, deal is... She'll still text you. <laughs> I don't want to text her. I want to look at her frozen body. She's my new ice ice baby. He has a thing for mustache. Goes now. What was your quest? Now, what was your question? Who the fuck killed you? What happened here? He goes. I don't know his name. He was a celebrity, probably not more um, influential than myself because I am Vanilla Ice, but a friend or an ally of Gary Busey came in and killed me when he was away. I don't know if they work together or apart. And was the guy alive or dead? Alive. Oh, okay. I don't know who he is, though. Because for Vanilla Ice, everyone is beneath the king. Except for Moonshine. Except for Moonshine. She's still coming, Ethan. He's floating. 
At this point, Steve has gone down to the basement level. At this point, Steve, you walk around the basement. It's actually very well lit. Red fluorescent lights. Um, there is a panel on the wall where you can adjust the light, and it kind of goes into a strobe light or party lights if you want. And down here is some kind of gross BTSM dungeon. Hmm. Okay. Um, I'm going to look around for an object that I can grab as a weapon. You find a cat o' nine tails. All right, I'm going to take that, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to look for a way out of here. Uh, you find a dungeon door. And at that dungeon door, though, unfortunately, it is locked. Um, okay. Well, I'm pretty good at picking locks, so I'm going to try and open You it. hear from behind you, David... David, is that you? You turn around and see the ghost of Pam Anderson, aged 900 years. A frail, gross uh, remnant of the person she once was. Which was also kind of gross, never mind. Frail <laughs> I was about and to gross. say, she kind of looked like that while she was alive, so no okay. difference. Maybe she's alive still or not, you're not sure. She looks similar, though. But she's floating. And she's floating... But she has handcuffs and a whip in one hand. Okay. Her breasts <laughs> drag on the floor. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to get out of here, lady. <laughs> one minute, I was in my trailer, and I smoked crack for the first time, and now I'm here and I don't know what's going on. I never even got my coffee. <laughs> sure, he never took his coffee. Yeah, because you spilled it all over Timmy. She goes, if you want to leave here alive, strap yourself down on that table. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> Her hair rises up and she goes, no! Um, I'm gonna throw the cat on I the I am a celebrity. No one says no to me. Miss, Miss Pamela. It's Pamela Anderson, right? Yes. Yeah, uh... I, I've i got a much more uh, attractive friend named Fred that's here. The last attractive man that brought me down here hit me in the back of the head with a brick. That sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Can I please go? <laughs> roll a tough contest roll. It's not called contest. Roll a six. Add two to the franchise dice roll. Where are we at, Becky? Twelve. Twelve. Nice. All right. And uh, probably describe what happens. So I'm pleading for my life, and I say, I have an idea. You know, like, you don't want to be down here. You got hit in the head with a brick. Why don't you let me go? You come with us, and you can help us investigate. You can join our crew. You can be the celebrity. You were born... And I guess the celebrity you died to be. You can be the first dead ghost celebrity. <laughs> Opposed to the alive ghost celebrity. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, I would love that more than anything. One last big role. Except, as all ghosts are, we're confined to the area where we died. I can no longer leave this dungeon. And at that moment, Gary Busey opens the door, not knowing you're down here, and he's like, All right, ladies, who's ready to get Buseyed? Oh. <laughs> I'm going to hit him in the face with the cat and nine tails when he's not expecting it, and I'm going to run out the door before he sees that it was me. <laughs> Roll athletics. You know the cat with nine tails is not a blood weapon. It's like a whip. Yeah, It's I like know. a nine-tailed whip. I know. I rolled a one. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. The GM gets to hose you with truly dire situations <laughs> resulting from your competence. <laughs> you whip him, and that only makes him happier. <laughs> he grabs you, brings you close, and goes, Are you ready to get busy, young man? <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> <laughs> and he looks over at Pam and screams. He did not expect this. Maybe he's a good actor. Maybe he did not actually kill her. 
Can I take advantage of his fear to run out the door now? Oh, you can, yeah, at yeah. this point. You go up the stairs, though, and, um, <clears throat> yeah, uh, you're out of there. You do lose, uh, as a penalty, and give you a minus one to your... What's the charisma base check in this game called? Contact. Contact. As you're just so frazzled by that situation you were thrown in that you don't know how to react. That's but you do get up the stairs. Back to Fred, Moonshine, and Sandwich. Dealing with iced tea. Not you iced mean tea. Vanilla ice. <laughs> the ever ice base wrapper. You mean sandwiches and Fred because one of them's kind of. Oh, sorry. I wasn't talking like. You mean sandwiches and Fred because one of them's kind of frozen. Sure. Well, I tried my best to be nice to, van- to Vanilla Ice and talk him into letting my sister go. But we don't take kindly to our sisters being frozen in blocks of ice in the south. So I'm going to bust her out using my athletics check. Because, you know, sam- sa- sandwiches... Is it? I'm, I wasn't the bouncer, but I still knew how to tussle. Fair enough. Is it physically possible to get... Frozen and ice in the south? Not where I'm from. <laughs> <laughs> Travis, while she's trying to break um, Moonshine out of her frozen uh, cell, what are you doing? Uh, so I got, was it a four for that role? Mm. For talking to him? Maybe that's, let's say you distracted him enough that she can try to break um, Moonshine out. All right, by distracting him, I was talking about how many of these uh, beautiful statues he'd like to sell. And how quickly he wants them removed. What statues? The porcelain statues that are all around us. Oh, the really dolls? Creepy, yeah. yeah, he says, dude, you can just have them. Oh, well, that's, that's dope, man. You're, he goes, you're these are guy. not mine. Well, yeah, but I mean, you're, you, this is your domain. You own anything in your he domain. He goes, no, Vanilla Ice does not associate himself with porcelain dolls. I only associate myself with frozen dolls. If he winks over at the ladies. <laughs> Okay. Oh, by the way, how'd you die? He goes, well, just like I told them, I was brought up here to take a look around his cool attic by Gary Busey's friend. And Gary Busey stayed downstairs, and then next thing I knew, I was dead. Cool. That was all I needed to know. Thanks for the dolls. I appreciate it. And I start hauling the dolls down the stairs. Uh, The trap door is locked again. But you jostle around with it a little bit, and you're able to break it open. Okay. The camera crew down there point their cameras up at you. Oh, hey, guys. And you're like, can we interview quickly about your experience up there? Uh, before that, do you have a blowtorch? No. <laughs> well, can you go get me one? Uh, no, Eddie's not here. Yeah, I know Eddie's not here, but you guys are a crew. We need to get footage. All right, then go upstairs. They all run upstairs. Becky, what do you roll? Athletics. A six. All right, add another two, and you shatter um, Krina out. Moonshine, you break from your frozen prison cell. We never leave each other behind. Thank you, sandwiches. It was so cold in there. I never felt such cold in my life. I can't believe this man froze you. I know. I was being so nice to him. Being so nice to him. He has nice eyes too for ghosts. Yeah. Speaking of eyes, his eyes glow uh, like a fluorescent blue, ice blue. As the camera crew stumbles up here, he goes full rage mode. Levitated and higher up in the air, uh, extremely upset that more people have violated his realm. Uh, looks like at this point he starts throwing like sharp like mini spears made out of ice at the camera crew who are all darting down the way to avoid getting hit. None of them able to get a good um, static shock. Oh, sorry. A static, um, sorry. Stationary shot of him with their cameras. Mm. All right, fellas. <laughs> I think it's probably time to time to leave Mr. Ice by himself. He seems to be having a little bit of a tantrum. One of them screams at you, Get them ghosts! What are you guys doing? Help us! Oh, right, right, right. And then I turn on my little vacuum cleaner and try to suck up the <laughs> Roll <of> technology. <laughs> I'm actually trying to get a technology. Four. Four, okay. I described the most positive our result of your action. We must include a negative or humorous effect. 
so <laughs> the proton pack actually works and I get Mr. Vanilla Ice in it. Yep. But as I'm pulling him in, I like slip and um, fall on my butt. And I'm. That's <laughs> embarrassing. I look real silly on the camera. Oh. I'm kind of sliding across on the ground and I'm like, ah! There'll be a ah! laugh track to that later. There is going to be a laugh track. Moonshine, how do you react to this? Uh, you know, I just got sucked into her Luigi Proton Pack, or whatever they call it <laughs> in that game. Well, I, I gave him a chance and he just hurt me, so I don't even care. I just want him to, to get gone. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. I we'll just... find the right man for you someday. Yeah. I At this so. point, Austin comes up and goes, Alright, cut, cut, cut. Guys, do we get any good shots? We got a ghost. You guys got a ghost? We oh got my a, god. I got Perfect. A ghost. Guys. Perfect. All right. Keep going. Keep doing what you're doing. This is going to be perfect. I think we might be promoting you guys after this. Where the fuck is Steve? Austin, can we have a little chart with little ghost stickers? And you give us a little ghost sticker every time we get a ghost? You know it. Yes. He was, where's Eddie? God sure. damn it. He needs to go print out some ghost stickers ASAP. Look, for all we know, Eddie's dead at this point. Where the fuck is Steve? Eddie's not dead. And at that point, like... Right on command as you guys start going downstairs to avoid this cold attic. Steve busts in from a hidden door. You guys not seen the kitchen that looks like it heads downstairs. Whew. Steve! Oh. oh, hey guys! Oh. We caught a ghost! Yeah, I ran into a ghost. What ghost did you get? Pamela Anderson. Yeah, I know, I didn't care either, but. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what about you? Well, we have Vanilla Ice, and he was making eyes at Moonshine, and um, I think he wanted her to be his ice wife. We have to go back to the basement. We've got to go back for Pamela Anderson. I made a promise to her. Does she want to get in the backpack with Mr. Ice? She wants to be on our TV episode. I, I don't think I like that. Yeah, but Steve. I mean, she only has to be till the end of the episode. Then we can put her in the back. There's another reason. We gotta we gotta go find your body too. Oh. Oh. As yeah. I already told Becky, I did find one person in the garage. I found his body and his ghost. Might have destroyed his ghost a little bit. We should go we should go check out who wait, who was it? Uh which one did I tell you was again? <laughs> Dennis Rodman. That one. <laughs> I need to go see his body right now. Okay. What why are you? Why are you gotta see his body? So it's out in the garage, she said? Mm hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna go out to the garage. I go out with him to show him where it is. I'm gonna yeah. go out to the, the garage, and I'm going to look for Dennis. Uh, once we find Dennis Rodman's body, I'm gonna start patting it down looking for more drugs. Ha! <laughs> you do find a plastic baggie full of more crack rocks. I say, oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I go. I the go. camera crew go. Cut! 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 We can't show this. Uh, can we do? Uh, they come up to you. and Go. They look at you because you're obviously the one who's in charge in this situation. They go. Uh, can you guys like do that whole bit of like finding his body, the revelations up, but like without the drugs in it? Yeah. I say, took the drugs in your pocket. They'll be for later. Uh, we're gonna find out how he died, Steve. Okay. Okay. So let's go and do this take again. Okay. As you guys are recording, you guys hear. Whoa. You guys look around? You don't see a ghost though. Whoa. Did I scare, Did I scare you, guys? you guys? Was that good? Was good? This, this is, is Liam, Liam Hemsworth, 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 the third, the, third, the best the Hemsworth, Hemsworth brother. brother. My, My bit, bit is that, is that I'm, I'm invisible. invisible. Oh. <laughs> well, well you the scariest the ghost, ghost is a good, is a good actor, actor who can turn, who can turn into an invisible ghost, ghost that no one can see. Well, oh. you're doing a great job of that. I can't see you. I don't care about you. Go away. Oh, Fred, oh. Fred, don't be so mean. Darling, you're doing great. You're so scary. The windows all smash in there. You guys can't see who did that, but all the windows smash in the garage. Even better. Guys, film that. Uh, they're whipping the camera around. Stop addressing us. Oh, right. We're, don't break the, the wall. The wall? <laughs> you know, the wall. The fourth wall? 
stupid. She doesn't know that. While the uh, while the cameramen are shooting the windows breaking, I'm gonna go over to the light switch and I'm gonna start flicking it up and down <laughs> for dramatic effect. At one point, there's a split second that when the audience watches this on Netflix, they can pause. They can see Steve <laughs> flicking the light to the corner, which makes it from now on YouTube people do edited videos. Uh, basically saying that this whole episode was faked. Based off that one split second of you <laughs> flicking the lights, they use that as enough evidence to prove that this was an entire faked episode. Perfect. Uh, Mr. Mr. Third Hemsworth. Darling. Liam. Liam. <laughs> Liam. How'd you die? He goes, another celebrity, celebrity attacked, attacked me. me. My, My brother. My brother. The less, the less talented, 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 talented more, more successful, successful brother, brother Chris. 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 Oh, he's handsome. Him. Mm. Not, as handsome. Not as handsome as, as, I. as I. No, he's more handsome than you, darling. Hey, <laughs> don't piss it. off the goat. Well, I'm just being honest. All right, that's fair. He goes, other lady, lady, do you believe, do you believe I am more? more? It, it is a, a ghost here. <laughs> goes down his invisible face. Do you believe I'm more handsome than Chris and the other one that was in the Hunger Games? Oh, uh, I, I don't believe I, I should say my opinion, but I think you're a good-looking fellow. You shouldn't have to Holy worry shit, about this whole that. time I was saying Liam Hemsworth, this is going to be awkward because his name is Luke Hemsworth. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to correct you, Mr. DM. The thing is, Liam is the second Hemsworth brother. Liam's the one from Hunger Games. Yeah, Liam's the one from Hunger Games. I'm sorry, Moonshine, keep going. <laughs> I just said... You're you're good looking in your own ways, you know. Even if even no if one can see, see me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that makes you even better looking, by the way. Have you, Have you seen, you seen anything, anything my brothers, my brothers were, in? were in? No, I haven't. I don't really watch the telly very much. So Have think, any of you guys seen any, any of my performances? performances. Uh, yeah, I mean, you were in movies. Movies, movies and TV, and TV shows, shows, yes. What's I, that, uh, what's that one, the, you know, the really good one you were in? What was that one? I was, I was recently, recently in Westworld. Westworld. Yeah, that was great. I loved that one. <laughs> I absolutely love you in The Invisible Man. I think you did a great job. <laughs> also, I didn't see you. So, like, you're acting and it was phenomenal. <laughs> I was, I not, was not, in not in The Invisible Man. Man. He said he was invisible. I think it, the name fit. So... This other celebrity, do you know who it was? He goes, no, Chris hangs out with him, but I don't hang out with Chris anymore, or he doesn't want to hang out with me. But I think he's a big time actor or director or something. Hmm. And you don't hmm. remember his name? No, I don't. <sighs> well. Why the undead so reliable, unreliable? Well, he's about as useful in death as he was in life. <laughs> oh, the whole walls shake and the garage door breaks open and you guys feel like your insides are gonna pop soon unless you do something. We should probably leave. He, he seems to be mad. He, uh, did we find out how Dennis Rodman? Dennis Rodman died. Uh, looks like he got hit in the back of the head or something. Sounds good. Let's go. <laughs> you guys backpedal out of the room and uh, one of you guys. I'm going to say um, the meanest one was probably Sandwich. <laughs> He's going to try to use his ghost powers to rip your organs out. That's rude. Uh, tell us what roll you're going to roll and why you're using that skill. I am going to use my technology skill to put him in my backpack and I'm going to use one of my cool dice. Ooh, okay. Six. All right, add two more to our technology. And where are we at? Sixteen. Sixteen. Awesome. Okay. Uh, you suck Liam Hemsworth into it, and there's no Luke. more Luke Hemsworth. <laughs> you <laughs> suck him into it, and you hit. <coughs> <coughs> and the ghost of Dennis Rodman appears out of the car and goes, "Who took my crack rock?" <laughs> Quick, suck him up too. <laughs> <laughs> the 
Is that what you want to suck him up to? I'm going to turn my backpack on him. Uh, stop. Okay. You go and your backpack goes full. <gasps> Is there any type of, like, vessel that I could, like, cor- like corral him into around me? Like a vase or like a, a gallon of milk? <laughs> There's gallons of, uh... It wouldn't be a gallon. Or no, I guess it would. There's like gasoline jugs around. Perfect. I dump out gasoline real quick. <laughs> just everywhere. All over me. It's fine. <laughs> and I do a giant epic anime jump into the air and go thunk and get him inside the, the gallon. So how do you do that? You just like jump up and like grab the essence of Dennis Rodman and put him in this gasoline yes. jug? Thanks for getting your baseball hat and slamming against the bike. <laughs> okay, so what would you like to roll? Technology? <laughs> Athletics. No, it's technology. I'm jumping in the air really high and using all my strength. Alright, I'm only allowing this because you're going to quite literally slam dunk him into this. Yes. <laughs> that's, that's the There's idea. There's quite literally no technology at all involved in this, Austin. No. Actually, that's true, there isn't. I got a five. Alright, you get one extra to the sheet. And you guys have captured Dennis Rodman. In a gasoline jar. Alright. You guys are doing really good. You guys have captured most of the ghosts. What would you guys like to do next? Well. And as we are 17 out of 20 franchise points you guys need to solve the case. The case is almost getting towards the end. I can't believe none of y'all didn't bring these backpack things. <laughs> I brought my little whizzy gun, but it kind of broke. Well, you broke it, dumbass. It's not my fault. It was fake. <laughs> Who's not designed to get a ghost? Oh, and everybody's making fun of sandwiches, because sandwiches brought the Luigi backpack. Eddie Whoa, knocks what? on the garage door and goes, guys. Oh, what's up, buddy? He goes, uh, an angry neighbor is outside complaining about the commotion you guys are making. Is it my friend Mark Wahlberg? It is, actually, yeah. You want to invite him in? Tell him moonshine and sandwiches say hello. Uh, He actually wanted to talk to you guys out back about why... uh, I think he's mad because you guys are making so much commotion. Oh, just... just, You knew him better. What do you think? I mean, I guess we'll go talk to him. I'm a little skeptical, too. Just make eyes at him. He seems to like that. (laughs) So you guys are going to talk to him? Uh, Fred and Steve, what are you guys up to? Uh, I talked to uh, Jimmy, Eddie. Yeah? I say, I'm mad. Did he kill anyone? Mad? Yeah, like the cameraman that was outside with you that we haven't seen. Uh, no, no, he's right there. And he points over to the corner, and the cameraman shake on the ground after seeing the essence of Dennis Rodman <laughs> getting slam dunked <laughs> into a gasoline jug. Ah, uh, you ain't gotta worry about that. He's, he's long gone now. I say, cameraman, come with us. Okay. Where are you going? Uh, we're going to the basement. Okay. Because there's a movie star down there. Ah, true. So you're going down the basement with the camera. Brad, do you want to go down with them or Steve? Uh, yeah, I'll go down with them. Even you two girls are going outside. Mm -hmm. Okay. Awesome. You guys go down to the basement and you guys meet up with Pam Anderson. Uh, you look around and you see, uh, Gary Busey strapped up against the wall. Like, hung like a dungeon prisoner from the medieval ages. Hey, uh, that's weird. Uh, Gary, are you okay? (laughs) And she goes, are you guys here to give me the role of a lifetime? Uh, yeah, you got it. Hey, by the way, where's your body? She goes, over there. And she points over to the corner where someone hid behind some barrels. Uh, Pam Anderson's body. Alright, um, I'm gonna tell the camera guy to interview Pam and distract her. Okay, uh, they start interviewing her. And then I'm gonna go check her body for more drugs. Uh, you go over and she does not have drugs on her, actually. Damn it! And I just kick a barrel and I'm really pissed off. Travis? I grab her body and start hauling it up the stairs. Okay. She goes, what are you doing to my body? Taking it for a walk. You need the exercise. Come on, you're skinny as all hell. She goes, No, you can't move my body. If you move my body, that's going to be where my new resting place has to be. I like being down here. But then you won't be able to be a star. 
The start of the movie's never in the dungeon. Uh, true. Uh, roll contests or charisma, whatever it is. Okay. So I got a four. All right, so you get a pass. You don't add any to the franchise dice total, but you do convince her to go upstairs if you. Her ghost starts to go up the stairs. It goes. She goes. Uh, you know, I might know who killed me. Uh, it wasn't Gary down there. She goes. Uh, I I've never actually seen anything this person's in, but I saw them on a commercial once on like a billboard advertising. Uh, what was it? Uh, have you guys heard of someone called the? Wahlburgers? Crashingly uh, enough, we have. Cut ahead to Moonshine and Sandwich outside. You guys meet up with Marky Mark Wahlberg. He goes, So guys, you guys have been, uh, you know, you've been disrespecting my area. It's been very loud. Things have been smashed. There's just constant commotion and noise coming from Gary Busey's house. I think you guys are putting too much stress on the poor man. Well, Mr. Wahlberg. I'm Mr. Wahlberg. I'm walking here. Yes, you are, and you're very good at it. (laughs) But what you don't understand, Mr. Wahlberg, is that um, everybody that went in there is dead. And we're we're finding them. And um, see this little backpack? It's got vanilla ice in it. And also... Luke Hemsworth and <gasps> sandwiches put Dennis Rodman in a gas can so you know uh where we're, we're... Oh, you mean moonshine oh moonshine sorry darling I called you my name <laughs> honest mistake will honest they mistake. remember honest those mistake. people though will anyone remember them oh probably not great theater Shakespearean actors like Gary Gary Busey get kicked to the side, to the curb, and replaced by who? Dennis Rodman, Pam Anderson, one of the Hemsworth brothers. Well, the other two are very good looking. He goes, but when does talent come back? I'm Marky Mark Wahlberg. I know a thing or two about great performances. Have you seen me in The Departed where I played a cop in Boston? Yes, you were very good at being racist. (laughs) He goes, For every time a celebrity dies, Gary gets one more chance to jump back into the the limelight again. You think he can handle the limelight? He invented the limelight. He was born to bask in it. And I would be damned if you guys take another chance away from him. Even Mark Wahlberg pulls out a 2 by 4 that was behind him. Oh, Mr. Wahlberg, this is a huge mistake, Moonshine. I'm so done with these boys crossing me. (laughs) I'm so done with this. I kick them straight in the face. (laughs) Can I use one of these? Sure. So it's the time that Krina... I think you would like to take a gym card point. So you guys have um, the gym card, the library card, and the credit card. If you want to do an athletics roll, you can take a point from the gym card to roll an additional dice. I got a six. Six adds two more to the franchise dice pool, which puts us at, what, 19? Mm -hmm. All right, and he's kicked straight in the face. He flies backwards. And he knocks his head on a, uh, well, he knocks his head on the ground, and he rolls around dazed. Not knocked out yet, or definitely not dead, but he's dazed. And he looks up at you guys and goes, Our Marky Mark Wahlberg, and I would have gone away with it if it wasn't for you. And do you guys want to let him finish, or do you guys want to interrupt him to finish him off? Well, our southern upbringing would tell us that, you know, we should let him finish his sentence. But I think we're real mad, so I think we're going to kick him in the face again. All right. Does Samus want to go over mid-sentence just kick him I right in the face? I pop a squat over his <laughs> body, and I slap him around a bit. <laughs> okay. I got another six. <laughs> as I do. As Describe what happens, Sandwich Moonshine. 
I slap him around a couple times, and I want I, I want him to admit the truth. He goes, "All right, all right." The camera crew roll out. Travis is there. It goes to Pam Anderson, and the camera crew look at you as uh, Mark Wahlberg's about to give his confession. And they look at you, Travis, as the most sensible one in the group, at least to them. And they go, "Is there a way we can turn this around so we have an arc?" The arc we start with Pam Anderson being a ghost that wants to kill people, and now we finish her off as being the detective who solves this case. Is there a way we can like re-edit this to look like she solved the case? Yeah. So I look at Pam Anderson's ghost and be like, "Is this the guy who?" Killed you. She goes, that is the person who killed me. Perfect. Mike this... Wahlberg. Yes, that's right. Now, this is the role of a lifetime. This scene's all set up. He's on the ground lying there. He's been beat up by our two co- co-workers. Uh, absolutely tremendous actors. Your, our go- sorry, your ghost is going to be coming out through the doors with us. And as soon as we come through the doors, you're just going to yell out, that's the man. That's the man that killed me. Mark Wahlberg, or Mike Wahlberg, whatever you call him. That's the man who killed me. Mike, Mike Wahlberg. He killed me. And then they do a panoramic shot over to Mark Wahlberg, lying on the ground, beaten and bruised and broken. Yes. And they pan right over to him right in time as he says, I did all this for Gary. Gary will become a star again. And he passes out. And the cops come over and put handcuffs on Mark Wahlberg. And the ghost getters, they go and got them ghosts. We got them ghosts. And you guys have succeeded in solving this mystery. Congratulations. In In wrapping up this episode, how do you guys handle the one remaining ghost, which is Pam Anderson? One remaining? Wasn't there like a five or six person crew? You guys caught them all. <laughs> well, uh, Pam Anderson, uh, Gary Busey, and I are all doing crack cocaine in Gary Busey's BDSM dungeon. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> I think she's fine to stay there with Gary Busey. We ask Gary, B- we go downstairs. We're like, Gary Busey, would you like a roommate? He goes, yes, 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 yes. Perfect, and we just dump her body back in the dungeon. <laughs> you just like right. kick her down the stairs, and her body rolls down to the bottom. Have fun, you two. Ooh. Also, there's another crack addict guy uh, that we have in a gas can. Would you want? Him? Would you like two roommates? Because like the more roommates, the better. Who's the other one? Who's the one you have? Dennis, Dennis Rodman is yeah. in the gas can. He goes, no, Gary only rolls with the females. Oh. He gives off real predator vibes. I don't mean his star and role in Predator too. <laughs> well, I mean, with well, enough... we'll just give these ghosts over to Mr. Austin, and then Mr. Austin will probably put them in the Ghostbuster machine. I mean, the Inspector machine. Austin comes in and goes, cut, 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 no mention of Ghostbusters. All right. And do one more take, and action. And then that's the end of our Inspector's game. Thank you for listening. If you enjoyed our episode, the best way to support the show is to recommend us to a friend or to give us a review on iTunes. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram to get updates on future episodes. And consider joining our Facebook group, the Beer and Pretzel Podcast community, to join us for dumb memes and fun discussions about role-playing games in future episodes. If you want to hear more from us, we have a Patreon where we release bonus episodes of Forever Unknown, our solo RPG podcast spinoff with actual bonus exclusives as well. Thanks again for listening, and we'll see you next time.